Don't call my line again, okay? Barrister, this is important. Don't call my line again! Don't call my line again! Dear subscribers, this is part two. If you haven't listened to part one yet, please do so now to hear the background and build up, or this upload will be fairly meaningless to you. Still here? Okay. This idiot scammer actually believed that he could pass himself off as someone who had been knighted by Her Majesty the Queen. So-called Sir George operates what's called the recovery scam. This is a really devious scam where he mass emails the world advising that if you have been scammed, his online group will recover your stolen funds for a small fee. Of course, it's all lies, and if you send any money over to Sir George in Nigeria, you'll never see it again. That's how this fake English night works. In part one, Sir George was ripped off by the crooked money transfer manager, Mr. Fahad and his staff. Sir George asked his victim, Mr. Pricky, to find another money transfer office in a different area. We now find Mr. Pricky there with the very shrewd clerk, Mrs. Pauline. Hello, this is Pauline at Western Union. Okay, uh, how are we doing, Mrs. Pauline? I'm doing Hello. fine, Sir Clements. I got 500 pounds that a Mr. Pricky Queerhouse came in and just gave me 500 pounds, and I'm okay. to send you 500 pounds. Yes, you're right. I'm going to try to call out the MTCN. Okay, call it out I'm listening to you. Okay, first I have to ask you one plus one. Okay, it's two. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, the MTCN for the 100 pounds, you're oh. writing it down because you're getting 100 pounds. Why? Why am I getting 100 pounds? Why? Because at the other Western Union, they're really good friends with my family, and they called and said that Mr. Pricky might be coming down here and listen for to me, me to keep 400 to me. Madam, pounds. Madam, listen to me, madam. You don't have to believe your call, okay? You, you have to keep 100 and send 400 to me. Listen to me, okay? Can I talk to you now? Yes, can yes. Can I talk to you? Okay. You can keep it 100 for yourself, okay? You keep it 100 for yourself, then you send 400 down here. Do it and keep 100 for yourself and send 400. I think you just insulted me because I'm a lady. I deal just like a man. For you insulting me, I'm only going to send you 50 pounds now, sir. Is this how you do your things? How would you want to take money that, that doesn't belong to you? They ask you to send 500 pounds. Why will you send 800, half of 500? Why? You doing the same damn thing. You taking money that don't belong to you. You just you doing the same damn thing. So I figure what goes around should come around. Fuck it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Can I talk to Mr. Pricky? Give it back to Mr. Pricky. Fuck no. This is my phone. This is my phone. I'll give it back to Mr. Pricky. Let me talk to him. It's my phone. I ain't giving. I'm telling you. You just disrespected me again. Telling me what to. Let let me let me make you an offer. Can I make you an offer? Listen to me. If you cannot say 100, forget about it. My God will judge you. Let me talk to Mr. Pricky. I, Keep the money for yourself. Keep the money for yourself. I will send you the 500 pounds. I will send you the 500 pounds, but this is what you got to do. You get Mr. Pricky, that damn stupid Mugu, to send you 750 pounds. If you can get him to send you 750 pounds, I swear, I swear it's my life on God. I swear, because I got to go to church tomorrow, okay? I swear my life on God, I will send you 500 pounds. Listen to me. I don't do that. You are only fooling yourself, okay? This man drove up here in the Mercedes. He looked like he got Rolex on, large jewelry. I don't need anything from you, okay? I don't have a business for you. 
I only have business with Mr. Pickett. Since you are wicked, you are very, you're a wicked lady, and you said you want to go to church tomorrow, take your money for yourself and wait for my God. If you can get 750 pounds from him, I swear to God, I'll send you 600 pounds. Just give me something. Oh, give me something I, to work. I just don't. I just don't need you to tell him. Listen to me. I don't need anything from you anymore. Okay. I don't have any business with you. Give it back to Mr. Pricky and let me talk to him. Keep the money. Since you said you want to keep the money, okay. And listen to me. Wait for my God. Okay. You said you're going to church tomorrow. Oh. Can you hold on for a second? I'm calling Mr. Pricky. Hold on. I'm calling him over here. Mr. Pricky? Mr. Pricky? Sir Clement said that you need to send 750 pounds. 500 pounds was not good enough. He said send 750 pounds. Okay, so I need to go and get another 250. Hello, Mr. Yes, Hello, Mr. Pricky. Okay, Hello, I'll go Mr. and get it now. Thank you. <laughs> see? 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 Hello, Mr. Pricky. I was talking to him in the background. He won't on the phone. See? Are you guys playing with me? No, I can do just like you. I, I got the moon guru to get me 750 pounds, so now you get nothing. Okay. Just take the money. Don't, don't call this man again. Just take the money. You know what's going to happen to you? You're going to die. Trust me, you are going to die young. Trust me, just keep the money. Keep it and take it for yourself. I'm going to touch tomorrow. I'll be okay. You won't see the end of December. Okay, no problem. We shall see. We shall see. Be talking to the man of God. You have a nice day. Thank you for the money. Is that all? Thank you for the 750 pounds. Daddy, come in here and talk to this man. Hello. Hello, George. Yeah. You you idiot fool, I told you I own all the outlet, Western Union and MoneyGram in this town. I am the owner of everything here. You idiot fool. You should have agreed one hundred pounds, you greedy bastard Mugu. Listen to me. You, you are a greedy that. criminal thief, okay? No. Can I ask you a simple question? Can I ask okay. You? Ask me, yes, go. Okay. Okay. If I'm saying this to you, how will you how will you feel? Well, I, I will feel very happily. I will feel very happily. We're going to bring some hookers, some drugs, some marijuana. We're going to have a wonderful night with your money. Mr. Preaky, he went outside to bring 750. Okay, we're going to send you 100 pounds and we're going to keep 650 for us. Do you agree on this? It's 100 pounds. It's a good money in your shitty country, you idiot. You should agree. Don't be greedy. 100 pounds is good money. We need this money to, to complete the church that we are building. We'll fuck you and fuck your church. Okay, 100 pounds. You agree or not? I know you don't have any church and you are a greedy idiot, motherfucker, shit sucker, idiot scammer. I know that's for fact. I've been dealing with you guys for a long time now. So don't be greedy, my friend. 100 pounds is a nice, it's a good cash. You're going to receive it tonight. You have a deal. Okay, make it 150. No, 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 no. Don't argue with me. 100 pounds, the last thing. I of... No, no, no. 100 pounds, the good money. I'm going to tell John to give you the MTC number now, if you agree. Okay? And you have my number. You can call me at any time if you have other clients. They want to send money. I'm going to serve you. We'll be like brothers in business. Okay? Well, Shelly. My name is Fahad. Okay, don't worry. Let Mr. Pricky come back, then I will tell him that he said you will send me 100 and you keep 600. Right? Don't tell him. No, no, no. Don't tell him anything. Just tell him that I'm going to send you the full amount. Don't tell him about our deal. Don't tell him about no, uh, anything. It's not a deal. It's not a deal. No, I don't do it. Okay? I'm a pastor and I don't do it. You are not a pastor. Period. You are a dirty thief. Yeah, oh, my God. You okay, are so okay. greedy. You are so greedy. Yes, you are so greedy. Good. You are you gotta yes. end up you with nothing. Anything. Good, good. It's the work of God, okay? We won't see anything. You won't get six hundred. Okay? Just go and kill yourself. You won't get anything. I'm not greedy, but you are wicked and God will pay you back. Bye. I don't need anything for you. Please. You will end up with nothing. You're greedy. You are a greedy idiot. Good. Thank you.
you will end up with nothing instead of 100 pounds you will end up with nothing you're greedy if you said i'm greedy what about you i am greedy also i am i admit it you you don't know where the money is coming from but you want 600 yes this is the business why will you want 600 i am greedy i am greedy i admit it what's the problem i like being greedy yeah bastard Folks, the fun with the fake Sir George continues in part three, and I really hope to see you there. Please give us a thumbs up for this upload, and if you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button, and you'll be the first to know every time we upload some more audio gold. Also, if you check out our Twitter and Facebook pages, you'll see our photos of real scammers that we have sent across the world on wild goose chases, only at Scambate Central. <laughs>